good, Jordy. That's good. So we on our way to court, and yeah, let's see how it goes. court today um it's no bullshit um <laughs> pray for your boy rob and keep you an update uh we got the news right after this so i'll show you what's up Here in grand rapids district court on thursday city of grand rapids versus robert dale truax jr he pleaded guilty to creating a disturbance in a public place the misdemeanor is punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a $500 fine. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, your boy Rob is in trouble. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a pretty good kid, usually, most of the time. Man. Like, I only gotta be, I don't know how long I gotta be on this, but uh, hopefully not that long. But usually I'm a good kid, so unless Trump come back, now I'm screwed. If you want to take what airs tonight, you want that. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's, uh, that is verboten. That's one of those things that, um, especially if you profit on it. Oh, no, I, don't, I don't think no well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you This was the scene just one week ago. Today, outside of Van Andel Arena in Grand Rapids, thousands of people gathered to see President Trump speak. While it was overwhelmingly peaceful, Grand Rapids police did arrest two people. Among those two, Robert Truax Jr. He appeared in court today for creating a disturbance pleaded guilty to throwing water balloons into the crowd. Truax spoke to 39 year side John Hogan and says despite getting into trouble, if given the chance, he might do it again. Robert Truax was able to toss two water balloons into a crowd of Trump supporters here at Van Andel Arena on March 28th. The 20 year old says his actions speak louder than words trying to stand up for the people that are just against the president. Some 3,500 people were outside Van Andel Arena. More than 11,000 were inside. I wanted to stand out and do something about it instead of just being a bystander and just taking everything that he throws verbally at us. That they did. Pre-filled water balloons were launched into the crowd, and Truex got it all on video, including his arrest. He posted it to his YouTube page. Truax appeared in Grand Rapids District Court on Thursday. City of Grand Rapids versus Robert Dale Truax Jr. He pleaded guilty to creating a disturbance in a public place. The misdemeanor is punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a $500 fine. What happened? I was throwing water balloons at Trump It is something he downplayed on his YouTube video. Like, bro, it's some water balloons, bro. Grand Rapids police say it is not something to laugh off. Not only can you hit someone and injure them, um, but also you can uh, incite panic in a group. The larger the group, the more dangerous something like this um, can be. Truex acknowledges there are detractors to his methods. Just like Malcolm X, you know, some people consider that man a very violent person, but in a way, I do believe he did something right. Grand Rapids Police Sergeant Kathy Williams says his motive was clear. He came downtown with the intention of getting arrested. So uh, be that as it may, um, he's put that video out there, and I'm sure that will be um, a card played in court. To those who might have been hit, Truax had this to say. I'm sorry that I got you wet, but you should have brought a long sleeve to keep a little bit warm. So, would he do it again? Yeah, probably would do it again, but if not, try to get three water balloons out this time. So I'm at home and I want to tell y'all some, um, some stuff went in there that I just, just like, I don't want to speak on because I don't want to put anyone on blast, but I just got to say like, do what you believe is right, right? Don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to do some actions because you're terrified of the consequences. If you really believe something is wrong and you want to change, speak up and do it, please. You guys can do whatever you want. You put your mind to and you guys got it, all right? Like, it's just put your mind to it and you can do it. I promise you, you can do it. No one knew who I was. Now I'm on the news doing this. Like, it's crazy because I spoke up what I believed in and you know, karma comes back and gives you good karma. And yeah, just speak up what you believe is right. 
when there is wrong. The thing is, guys, uh, even though I'm going through a lot right now with this court stuff, I'm still smiling at the end of the day. Uh, always put a smile on your face because happiness is overall the best thing you can get in life. And being happy is truly one of the best feelings in the world. Whatever bad stuff you're having, just put a smile on your face. Like, just think of something happy, you know what I'm saying? Because happiness is just something everyone should experience. And being happy is going to pay off overall, I promise you. Being happy at the negative times will help you.